So this is a really short video to show you how you can store and retrieve values from memory in the new model of Casio calculators. Um, it's a little bit more intuitive um, and a nicer, a nicer way of doing it than the old ones, uh, but the buttons have changed around. So uh, if I want to store A is 4, um, just like before, I can type 4, press the equals, and I get my answer is 4. And then if I want to go to variables, I get this list up, and I can use the arrow keys to navigate. If I select A, because I had an answer, it will have this option to store it, and I can press OK, and that's it. It's stored now. If I press variable again, you can see A is 4. I can do that again for minus 2 for B. Ooh. If I make B minus 2, variable, go across to B, and store. Um, there is a second way of doing it, uh, which is if I go to C, there was no answer, so I don't have that store option, but I can just go down to edit, and I can type it in. So C needs to be the fraction 1 over 2. I press equals, and it's done, the fraction 1 over 2. Note it has stored it as a fraction with the, the old kind of L-shaped symbol to show that it's a fraction. Um, but it, you, you can't show them nicely uh, in natural uh, form in the variable menu. Um, and then to do it, um, I can access the variables through the blue shift values. So I can type in 7 and then shift A plus and then my fraction, uh, shift B over shift C, and it will do the calculation for me very, very straightforward. Um, but the variable menu is all nice and uh, clear in here as well. And if I just want to recall a value, I can just go to recall and it pulls it up like that much nicer, much more intuitive, and you can see all of the values all at once in the screen, which is, a, I think, a big improvement.